What's up, everybody? We're ready to play Wordle for Saturday, March 30th, 2024. And today we can jump right back into Aranye's uh, challenge. Uh, we missed Echoes yesterday just because I wanted to go side by side with Doug with Minimum. Mi not Minimum, but Minimum. And we did pretty good with Realm in three. Um, I think Doug got it in four. Uh, and just like me, you know, we kind of think similarly. He also, um, you know, was thinking about the harem. And, and I think he did put it in. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and do Foxed today. Foxed, of course, is short for <laughs> Foxtrot in the NATO um, phonetic alphabet. Um, and I think uh, this will be pretty sweet. So let's put Foxed in. The letters are all great. Maybe just accept the X. So today would be an amazing day to get an X, wouldn't it? Oh, my God. That is insane. That is absolutely insane. So it's going to be, wow. It's going to be this. Now, uh, Force is looking great. Wow. Would, would it be, what a great day to do a two-guesser. Um, it could be Force or it could be Forte. Those, to me, look like the two most reasonable options. Let's go with Force first. I don't think we've had it. Wow. Thank you, Aranye, for proposing this amazing 26-day uh, challenge. Wow. I'm, I hope he also gets it in two. I'm sure he will. Um, but yeah, a little bit of a decision to make there on Force or Forte. I don't remember either of them having come up. So there you have it, guys. Um, pretty amazing. Look at that beautiful two. So um, we were not outfoxed today, were we? Hope you guys enjoyed. Tomorrow, by the way, will be golfs. So please join me and Aranye side by side. So you would enter G-U-L-F-S. I think that's another pro probably solid quality word. And let's have some fun continuing these NATO uh, phonetic alphabet challenges. See you tomorrow. And I look forward to seeing you for the next round of Weidel. What's up, everybody? With my tail between my legs, reluctantly, I returned to this crazy game of strands where I got blown away yesterday. Absolutely blown away. Um, yeah, uh, it was a debacle. So let's go ahead and try today, see if we can do a little bit better, um, and not pick up negative points, right? So camouflage is today's topic, uh, which is interesting because that also sort of looks like a little bit of a French word. Okay. Oh, camouflage. Um, what do we got? What do we got? Um... It's funny, I almost see like the word military, which is something you associate um, with the camouflage. Camouflage. Uh, could be words just like, you know, hidden or something of that nature. Uh, let's, um, let's just start picking up some words, okay? Um, th that's not going to count against me, according to our scoring system, which it seems like everybody likes. It's only if you retrieve a hint. So not plain. But remember, by doing this, you know, I'm running the risk of getting one and then not getting this bangram first. So then I would lose a point. But I really just want to try to maybe keep this under five minutes. That would be incredible. Um, let's do loud. Ah, this is a little silly, though. I mean, I don't know what the point is, except just to confirm that these, these aren't theme words yet. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure exactly what it proves, but uh, uh, I guess so that you, if you really need that hint, you can get it. Um, so, okay. So we'll, we'll think about the hint, but let's just try a little harder to at least get some uh, regular words that correspond to camouflage. I have a lot of trouble with this game, guys. I really do. 
Hyena. Hyena. Now that, hmm. Oh, so maybe these are animals that um, camouflage themselves. And in fact, I do see animal. Um, and I, I, I think that should, ah, there's, ah, oh, shoot though, I wonder why that hyena, that would be weird though. I feel like animals should be part of the spangram. Maybe I'm not doing it from the right direction. Oh, shoot. I think we got, okay. Here's the deal. I think we can get this. I think I see animals. Um, let's just put it in. Okay, it's not animal. How about animals? Oh, uh, you wouldn't be able to get there. Okay, so funny. Okay, so let's just put in hyena. Okay, good. So there we go. So we lose a point because I didn't get the spangram first. But now let's try to hustle. And I do see, now I see leopard. Perfect. And what do I see next? Cheetah. And now I see... Ah... Uh, Ladybug. Cool. And now I see, um, so our spangram's gonna go, obviously, uh, maybe spotty? Ha, that's cute. Okay. Uh, that, that's a tough spangram. You wouldn't think of that for camouflage. Um, but I think we are doing pretty good today. Uh, giraffe. So now we know these are spotted animals. And uh, we have one more to go, Dalmatian. Ah, uh, done. I think that's five minutes. I think it's five minutes. Whoa, so much better than yesterday. So much better than yesterday. Wow. Oh, man. Okay. So, uh, of course, when I do my editing, I'll reflect the true score based off of the time. But I'm pretty confident, even though it was a, it was a slow start, once we found and we you know committed to Hyena, it really accelerated. So I, I hope it was under five minutes, in which case the score today, guys, guess what? It will be a nine, okay? So again, you start with a base score of 10, and the only deductions you make will be take one off if you didn't get the Spangram first. I definitely didn't do that. Uh, and then take two points per hint. I didn't have to use any hints. And take two points if you solved it over five minutes. Case closed. I think we have a nine. We'll double check. That was so much better. Hope you guys enjoyed. And of course, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the next round of Strings. What's up, everybody? We are ready to start uh, connections today for uh, Saturday, um, March 30th, 2024. I've got a timer next to me, so it'll help me um, make sure that I'm on pace to try to solve it within five minutes, okay? So let's go ahead and uh, hit the play button. Uh, we've had two tens in a row, which is extraordinary for me. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to maintain that, but let's just try to get a decent score today. As we have only, can you believe it, guys? Two more days left, and then the March competition is a wrap. Okay, I'm going to hit my timer now, and perfect. We've got smokes, puffs. Ah, she went from Y words to S words, didn't she? This is going to be tricky. Smokes, puffs. Um, raindrops, gasps, jams, kettles, pants, cures, can spots, pickles, binds, mittens, salts, whiskers, and huffs. Hu okay, whoa, huffs, pants, gasps, and puffs. Let me think about that. You can huff and you can puff. Uh, that's don't think that's bad because like gasps and pants, you know, are, um, have different meanings. So I don't think it's like a trick category.
Uh, would these be all ways of showing that you're tired? Good. That's what you do when you're tired. You breathe heavily. Okay, good. Um, next, you've got... Um, You can, the printer can, yeah, let's see, you can bind, you can get into a bind, a jam. I don't know if that goes any further. Um, cans, kettles. Salts, cures. Thinking of ways to preserve food, but I don't think it goes much further than that. Um, raindrops, um, hmm. Raindrops, um, smokes, whispers, whiskers, whiskers. Hmm. Smokes. I think we're we're gonna uh, not get this in five. I can just tell this isn't going too great. So smokes. Smokes. Wow, this is kind of tough. I'm not really sure where that's headed. Um, jams. Mittens. Um, pickles. Actually... When you pickle something, eh. pickles, cans, cures, and salts. Could potentially still be that category is talking about ways of preserving food. You can salt something, you can pickle it, you can can it, and you can cure it. You, I don't think you would jam it. Are these ways of preserving foods? Ah, no. Okay. Oh, you can salt something, you can smoke it, you can pickle it, and you can cure it. Maybe that would be ways of preparing foods. No, oh no. Uh, let me turn off my timer because there's no way I'm going to finish this. Okay. Well, I think we have a category. I'm just, I think it's slightly overloaded. Um, let's focus on the stuff that's not related to that. We've got mittens, raindrops, probably kettles, uh, and whiskers, hmm, and spots, B binds, okay. How to make that category better? Smokes, salts, uh, pickles, and uh, cures. Did I do that one? I think that was already guessed. Let me just double check. I'm pretty sure it was already guessed. Yeah. And it was one away. 
pickles, cures, and I'm pretty sure I did cans as um, preserving food. Yeah. So this is really frustrating. Uh, I just can't, can't see the other thing that would be preserving. Like when you jam something, you can can something, but you jam it. It just doesn't make sense. You can get into a pickle. Maybe that's it. But it's cheesy. You can get into a jam. You can get into a bind. You can get into a spot. And you can get into a pickle. Uh, bad situations. Okay, predicaments. Oh, okay. Huh. But that's weird. Like, oh, I guess I'm in a pick. I'm in a pickle. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay. All right. Maybe there's still a chance to survive this thing. Um, and now we can go smoke, salts, cans, and cures. But didn't I already have that one? Maybe not. Are these ways of preparing food? Or um, not preparing food, but ways to... Uh, prepare or to um, store food. Okay, good. And wow, I can't believe I'm going to survive this thing. This is going to be a very hard purple. Mittens, whiskers, raindrops, and kettles. Um, things that, uh, let's see, a kettle, kettles, whiskers, mittens, raindrops. Um, I feel like it's, could be associated with like some game. Well, I don't know. Some game. Like where there's like cat whiskers or something. Mittens. Sounds like a name. I'm just going to say like, I mean, this is really cheesy, like cat names. Things are my favorite things. Oh, these are a few of my favorite things. Wasn't that the song in, um, uh, whatchamacallit? Um... The Sound of Music. These are a few of my favorite things. That's a good one. I That's impressive. I think that's going to be for some of the old timers. Almost, which is almost me, will be able to get that. Um, but the, the young folks might not have seen The Sound of Music. I'm almost certain that's where it came from. So let me know, guys. Well, that was unfortunate. Uh, ended up still being a fairly long video. I suffered immensely on that one with some bad categories. That jam is what got me. That jam is what got me. Or the pickle, rather. Because I was thinking about the predicaments. Um, but I kept thinking of it as a verb, not to be in a pickle. Um, in a jam, in a bind, in a spot. Ah, too bad. But you know what? We survived. What's the score going to be on this, guy? So we got three categories correct. Um, let's check. I think I had two guesses remaining. Yep. Um, so that's a five. That's it. And no order and no time. So we get a five out of 10. Oh man, what a what a plummet from the past two days, huh? But hey, it's always better than feeling, right guys? Hope you enjoyed. And of course, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the next round of Connections.